Hello everybody. In the previous video, I showed you how to create a UI table view use the custom table view self. But there are some things that we can improve to set up the table view cleaner and more efficient. Let's check it out. First, I will create cleaner data model for the UI table view self. We will replace the old data with the new one. Okay, now we have cleaner data model for the UI table view self. Next, as you can see, in the register function and the DQ reusable self, we have some hardcoded string here. In practical, we want to avoid them, so how can we do that? First, the cell identifier should be the same with the, the UI table view cell name. So we will name it item table view cell. Why should we do that? Because we will create some variable to get the UI nib name and the cell identifier. We will create the extension of the UI table view self. Okay. We'll create the extension of the UI table view self. To do it, we have to import the UI kit. Then we will define the variable for the UI table view cell. And also we define the nib name. When I do it, this means the UI table view receive identifier will have the same name with the UI table view self. Let's check it out. Here we will change this name is item table view self dot nib name. And we will change the cell identifier to item table view self dot reuse identifier. Okay, and we will replace the cell identifier here. Great, the UI stable view still working, but we avoid on the hardcoded string. But there's still something more that we can do to improve our table view.
here I will create new file UI table view extension import UI kit and I will create the extension for UI table view here I will create two functions one is to register the nib Okay, now we can use these two functions in our view controller. We will replace this by table view register so. and Replace this by for the path. Try to view. Okay, then run. Okay, working well. As you can see, we replaced these two functions into just one function like this, and the DQ receivable cells is shorter like this. Here you go. The code looks much clearer than before. From now on, you don't have to use hardcoded identifier anymore, and you can just use these two functions easily and clean and like this. Okay, that is for today. If you have any question, please comment below. I will do my best to answer all of your question. Please, please comment. What do you think about my video? And subscribe and like the video. Thank you very much. See you later.